Hi, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. In this video, we're going to see how to link and unlink layers in Photoshop Elements and what happens when layers are linked. This is an actual video taken from my online course, The Essential Guide to Photoshop Elements Layers, which is a complete course on how layers work. You can find out more about it in the description for this video. Let's get started with the video. In this lesson, we're going to look at how to link layers together and what it does. When two or more layers are linked together, they'll move together as one layer if you move either one of them. Notice in the Layers panel, there's a little link icon on each la layer located between the eye and the layer's thumbnail. If you click on that icon, it will change to a gold color and the link icon of the active layer will also turn gold, indicating that those two layers are linked together. So, if you move one layer, the other layer will also move, even if you don't make it active. So, if we want to move the red triangle and the green circle together, we could link them together. First, I'll make sure that the red triangle layer is active. If it's not active, I can click on it to make it active. Next, I'll click on the link icon of the green circle layer. Notice that the link icon for both layers turned gold, indicating that they're linked to each other. Now, if I use the Move tool to click and drag the active layer, which currently is the red triangle, the green circle moves with it as if they were both on the same layer, or as if both layers were active. And if I make the green uh, circle layer the active layer by clicking on it, so let's do that, and then I move it, the red triangle comes along and, and moves with the green circle. With either of those two layers active, if I now click on the link icon for the blue square, so let me do that, it turns gold to show that it also linked to the other two layers. So now, if any of those three layers are active and we move it, the other two shapes will also move. What the heck, let's add the background layer to the chain by clicking on its link icon. But this time we get an error message. It says, could not complete your request because the linked layers are locked. I'm going to click OK to close the message box. The reason we got the error is because the background layer is locked by default. And one thing that that means is that you can't move it. We saw in an earlier lesson how you can change the background to a regular layer if you want to. So you would have to do that if you wanted it to be linked with any other layer so that it would move with them. I'm not going to change the background layer to a regular layer. Instead, I'm going to unlink it from the other layers. You do that by clicking on the link icon again, and it changes back to gray so we can see that it's no longer linked with the other layers. So to sum up this lesson on linking layers, we saw that when layers are linked together, if you move any of the linked layers, the other layers that are linked to it will move in unison with it. We also saw that to link and unlink layers, you click on their link icon in the Layers panel. And that's it for this lesson.